we'd come early as possible just because we don't want to disturb anybody else. If we were going, say, Banff, or if we were going Vancouver, Toronto, anything like that, we would try to get all the information we can online. So there is no spokesperson for drone flights or anything from the government, right, obviously. So all information we could get would be online. Plus the drones that we do fly, they already, so these drones won't go close to an airport. When you fly to an airport, it'll basically hover. Doesn't matter what you do. And if you try pulling it in, which we've tried, because I live in Hampton Village, when you try pulling it in, it's gonna put full force trying to back out of there. Like this right here, you could buy at Best Buy. It's about $1,600. To some parents, $1,600, for their kids to shut up is nothing. They're like, whatever, give this kid 1600 bucks. But they don't realize that this is a very dangerous thing. And we tell people now, like, don't fly it. Whenever people message us, we have an essay typed out that we send to these kids. And we're like, hey, look, you can get this drone for this much, but just so you know, there's a no fly zone, you know, and we want you to get this app, that app. There's multiple apps that have already been made that show the no fly zones in the city, anywhere. And one of the reasons I recommend people to buy the DJI apps or DJI drones is because it's smarter. <laughs> it's smarter, you know what I mean? Like it, it has the sensors, it has everything, plus the apps that the company's made. You could be flying it illegally, you could be done with it, but at least you're not going into the airport. And it comes down in the slope of how an airplane would be landing. Again, not, still not the safest thing, but it is one of the things that at least has a little bit of protection, right?